Hi guys, the tension is rising up at Campi Flegri, a supervolcano in Italy, in the Naples region with more than 3 million people. This is highly densely populated, the whole volcano. It's not a volcanic crater, it is an area that spans about 100 kilometers and into the sea is highly densely populated. That's why it is so dangerous. And we're seeing another earthquake swarm. This earthquake swarm has not had a bigger, a higher magnitude earthquake like the last ones did. But basically, if you look at the list behind me, look at when this all started. It's even hard to find the starting day because we've seen earthquakes basically every day here at Campi Flegri. And this list only shows you the ones with a magnitude one or higher. But that doesn't mean that we have not, nothing in the smaller ranges if there's one day that is without it but basically look at um, august 9th basically we had several on august 9th with 1.0 1.2 then august 10th we had three on august 10th going up to 1.5 and then maybe nothing over one on 11th but that doesn't mean that there was nothing and then another 1.1 on the 12th on the 13th 1.4 then let me count one, two, three, many, let's say many on um, yesterday, basically, August 14th. So that is definitely a more significant swarm because they're over one and they're 1.4 and they're going into August 15th. They are continuing. So this is a spread out earthquake swarm. And so the risk that we might see another bigger one within that swarm is certainly there. And that's why they are worried. Also the land rise that is happening there, that Brady Sizem is consistently high. It is still rising with two centimeters per month. Basically, if we say the earthquake swarm, the continuous thing that we're seeing now, let's say it started August 14th, it occurred in the hydrothermal system of this caldera system, Campi Flegri, and this swarm already consisted of more than 20 earthquakes, but magnitude in the micro seismic range, but you see there's some magnitude one or higher. So, so far, we have the strongest one that had a, an epicenter at a depth of 2.7 kilometers and the epicenter was located northwest of that one crater that is called Solfatara, where we also see these fumaroles, these hot gas steams coming out. So it is close to that area and it was only a few hundred meters outside of that crater. So that crater is the most active. But you know, already on August 11 and 12, the earthquake activity was way above average. So this is almost like an earthquake week that we're seeing here. This current uplift phase, this current Brady seism has already started in 2005 and it's accelerating, it's intensifying since then. And it's especially intensifying basically since last fall with magnitude 4 then we had made 20th with magnitude 4.4 then we had another magnitude over 4 just recently then 3.6 so these swarms keep coming so this is a renewed increase in swarm activity and the risk that we will see stronger tremors with magnitude in the range of 4 or even higher that's what the scientists are saying increases with this increased activity what we're seeing and that has happened in the past if you look at the little fishing town of pozzoli also tourist attraction sophia lorraine was born there so it's a very very beautiful area but they're having problems with their port because as you can imagine if the land keeps rising that is pushing away the water level. So the port gets more shallow. And we've had that in the past that you see boats stranded, the fishing boats and everything. And now this seems to be happening again. There's social media posts that show that this harbor, it's drying out more and more near the shore, near the shoreline because of this ongoing ground uplift. So this is raising the ground basically along the shoreline so that it is then above the water level. And because it is above the water level, now you can see basically the edge of that 
port and the edge along the the cay that was previously underwater, um, grass and plants are starting to grow there because no water is reaching it anymore. So this is definitely a problem for the port, but you know, um, it is also a problem because it shows what's going on there. And you know, this is not only happening if there's low tide, this is only visible if there's high tide. So something is going on there. Is magma rising up? We will have to see. We know that they recently stated that um, the magma chamber is at a way more shallow depth than they previously thought. So now we're talking about a shallow magma chamber at the same depth as the one in Iceland, if you follow my channel. Between 4 and 4.5 kilometers, that's not very deep. So the magma doesn't need a lot to reach the surface, doesn't need to grind up. Let's say there was a magma chamber in eight kilometers depth, as they previously thought, or even 12 kilometers. Magma needs to grind its way up. It's way, way longer. But for a shallow magma chamber, it's easier to create an eruption. So that's why it is concerning and it just doesn't stop. And that's why we know the government, they were sitting on their butts for quite a long time. They have allowed illegal buildings right on the calderas all over the place. Um, so the minister, Muzumechi, says that was criminal because this endangers the people. And now they seem to take it more serious. They're trying to make evacuation plans. They say it's because of the earthquakes. But, you know, it also shows you how serious the threat is because the government is now also really thinking about paying residents to move away from the critical areas, at least from on top of these areas, Solfatara, at the edges of the craters, you see structures, homes. You, if you're on the balcony of one of these homes, you can look at the fumaroles and basically see them. So that is kind of crazy. So we will have to wait and see what is going to happen. I will keep you updated about this. If you want to learn more about Campi Fligri, I have a Campi Fligri playlist on my site with valuable information, what would happen if it's hit by a tsunami that can be created if it erupts in the water, because that volcano stretches in the Gulf of Naples Gulf of Pozzuoli as well. And lots of information there. Uh, check out my channel, lots of information about what's going on in Iceland. So in the video, there's underneath this video, there's links with everything that you need to know how you can support this channel. So if you're new here, subscribe and to everyone, please leave it a like. Thank you so much. I see you very soon, guys. Bye bye.